I'm Ute Ebert. I lead the group on multi-scale dynamics here at CWI. And our main subject are actually plasma simulations and machine learning for plasmas. Everybody's familiar with the three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Well, basically, if you keep increasing the temperature uh, of a gas, you get to a stage uh, where the electrons and ions separate, and this is called plasma. Plasma forms 99% of the visible uh, universe. Lightning is a spectacular phenomenon. Lightning is familiar, but it does not mean that you understand it. We are working on understanding lightning and understanding actually how it starts. That is not really understood and we are trying to model that. Related to this is the emission of very high energy particles, so high that you actually have gamma rays, you have got nuclear reactions, but we don't understand the mechanism how the particles are actually accelerated so much inside the lightning stroke. As a computational scientist, electric discharges are very interesting to study because there's a variety of computational techniques that you often need to apply in order to understand what's going on. You often have physical processes going on at certain small scales, at short time intervals, but also at longer time intervals and at larger spatial scales. And you have to sort of combine different models to describe all of that. The same phenomena that can bring us beautiful sights such as the northern light can actually be very disruptive for our society because these energetic particles that come to Earth can interact with our satellites and they can damage satellites. They can also interact with the power grid and sometimes they can cause blackouts. One of the approaches that we use is one where we, in a sense, admit our limitations. One of the biggest limitations for us doing simulation is that we do not have infinite computer power. Another one uh, equally important is that we do not know how to account for all the uncertainties in our model, which are completely based on physics. A possible way of overcoming this limitation is to use data, because one of the good things, for instance, when we model space weather events, is that we have a, a huge amount of available data and we can try to learn from this data using machine learning techniques. I think we are a very nice collaborative and international group with our international network, in particular also within the European network collaboration. And I think that uh, people with different specializations are working with us and from different nationalities and everybody brings in his or her specific interests and knowledge and uh, this creates together a very nice working atmosphere.